course, the agenda has been set. Our ministers inaugurated. Now, will they perform? And who will play the role of the watchdog? These are some of the questions my guest on the media review segment will be providing answers to. And it's Mr. Victorson Agbinson, editor, Political Desk, Radio Nigeria. It's nice to have you in our Thank studio. Thank you very much. All right, with the resumption of our ministers, what are your expectations? We expect them to hit the ground running. Okay. Uh, you, you know we have uh, history before us. This is the second term of the Buhari administration. The first of term, uh, there were ch challenges, hiccups here and there. So this second term, people are expecting that these ministers should hit the ground running because the time is not there. In fact, uh, people, some persons are already edgy because of the small, uh, some time lag already. Uh, but w we're still optimistic that these ministers should make sure that they begin on a sound footing so that's what Nigerians are expecting in the various sectors. Uh, principally, they will form the cabinet. And they will expect the cabinet to come out with robust policies that will put the country on a faster tra uh, track of uh, performance, of development across board. So that's what Nigerians are expecting. OK. Now, as someone who is familiar with the political terrain in Nigeria, now, for some of the ministers, it's a continuous process. Okay, for those some, who are returning. Yes, for those who are returning. Yeah. And for some, it's a different ball game, yeah. a new terrain entirely. So how will the media help in relating to Nigerians? I think uh, the media will help in the, for those who are returning. Yes. Is to keep a track on what they've done so far and remind them that it's a work in progress. So they need to focus attention on those areas, on those policies, on those programs that have been enunciated, that have been begun. For instance, if you look at the uh, transport sector, uh, probably two, two of the ministers in that sector have returned. Of course. Not in pro in in the actual sense of return, probably they may return to those ministries. It is important for them to continue uh, the w work that is going on in the various uh, highways across the country, rehabilitation works by the transport minister, Amechi. We need to see more of that. We need to see more of that because of the, 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 the importance of that sector to the economy. To security also, you know there is uh, a nexus between security and good roads. Okay. Then aviation, most likely he, the, the man will return there. If he returns there, then Nigerians need to see the good works that we've seen in the aviation industry continue. Probably he may have to revisit the uh, airline issue. Then for those who are Just coming for the first time. The newbies. The media should be able to set agenda for okay. them. Agendas that will help the country overcome its current challenges. If you ask me, I will tell you that top on the nation's agenda is security. Because the challenges of security is a mouthful. Enormous. Enormous in different parts of this country. Before you, everybody was talking about the Northeast, but you know it has spread around the country with security agencies now taking the bullet and the security agencies now uh, faltering seriously. You are aware of the, the, the imbroglo between the, the army and the police. Those issues will have to be tackled. A lot of loss of confidence on the part of Nigerians in regards to how they view the security agencies. Before now, the, the, the army was seen as the last bus stop when, you come, when it comes to security challenges. But with the recent uh, event, a lot of Nigerians are beginning to question the loyalty of some bad eggs, okay. allegedly so, in the army. We need to get to the root of these matters. Okay, now, you talked about, um, for instance, let's say, um, Mr. Michi. Transportation. Yes. 
what ha what would happen if he wasn't if he's not the current one? Okay, if he's taken to another ministry. Taken to another ministry. It's it's still okay. And what will happen to the projects he has started? What is important? It's not about the personality. What is important for okay. me is not the consistency. Yes, yeah, it's not okay. about personality. It's the consistency of no, no, we must give one thing to the current administration under President Buhari. No for me, no administration has done so well in terms of continuing the pro projects the administration met on ground. On the ground, you know, before now, when a new administration comes, they jettison old projects, existing projects, and they initiate new projects. The Buhari administration came and changed that. Okay, projects that were initiated by the Jonathan administration, administration. have been pursued to a logical conclusion. That to means continuity. Continuity, to the extent that it became an issue in the media when the uh, former ruling party, the PDP, will say, these were our project, these were our project, mm -hmm. uh, you only came to complete it. <laughs> oh, yes. It's good for the country. Should we have abandoned those projects? No, mm, no, if you ask me. So we will need to see more of that. So if new ministers come, they find themselves on the saddle in a new ministry, we will need to see them continue those very good projects, those critical projects have to be continued. So that's what's important, not the personality. They can go to any... Uh, one thing about leadership, competence in leadership, is that anywhere you take a competent man person. To, or person to, they will perform. He will deliver. When uh, late Dora Kunile was Nabdak boss, she performed very well. When she was taken to uh, the Ministry of Information, she performed very well also. So Nigerians have that history going for them. So wherever they go to, I'm sure they will perform. You're sure they deliver. will deliver. You're very optimistic. I am because we have seen that Nigerians want progress. And it is time we begin to focus on development. Okay. Now, as a media practitioner, how do we put the tab on projects? For us in the media, it is focusing on issues okay those projects they are projects that will de develop the country and benefit individuals in this country so the role of the media is to focus on issues about those projects if you talk about security we know what the issues are we know the issues of uh, lack of adequate equipment and motivation for uh, the manpower it's people that uh, shoot guns. It's people that will drive the uh, different equipment and policies that are put in place by the uh, eggheads or the policy makers or the drivers of the levers of uh, security. It's people. So we must place premium on those people. When we talk about agriculture, yes, we have a new, we will most likely have a new uh, FEC member, Federal Executive Council member, manning the agriculture uh, beat because the former uh, Minister of Agriculture, MD Part Minister of Agriculture, is not coming back. Yes, of course. That's how do Ogbe. Ogbe, yes. So, we should continue, he, the new man should be able to continue on the successes that we've had in that sector. Talking about uh, uh, fertilizer distribution. Mm -hmm. and Rice. Rice. So, those aspects have to be really, really focused on so that we can continue to grow the things that we eat. All right, personally, which ministry would you like to see a drastic change? The legal, ju the one. judiciary. <laughs> okay. The judiciary. Okay, why? The judiciary is very key. Many of the things that affect us are directly or indirectly linked to the judiciary. Okay. Do you recall that Nigerians have gone on several uh, conferences, constitutional review conferences? The last was in 2014 under the Jonathan administration, which I covered. Now, the reason for such conferences is for a better polity, a better society. We have come to realize from what we have seen during this Buhari administration that you don't always need a constitutional conference to make changes. You have seen presidential orders. Mm -hmm. 
and some of them are working. Be, for instance, the directive that local government funds should now go directly to local governments. We didn't need a constitutional conference to do that. At all. It was a presidential directive. So we need to begin to look at those areas. So for the judiciary, we need somebody who will radically change things in the judiciary. We are talking about making our federalism work, for instance. If the federalism must work, true federalism, then it's the judiciary that will champion it. Of course. Yeah. And we are the watchdogs. We are the watchdogs. So we have to set that agenda for we them. It has been set. <laughs> All right, Mr. Victorson, thank you so much. This is the much I can take, really. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Don't forget, we have to build Nigeria together.